I'm not sure if I said this before, but the approach that Superstar does with his cast, and I guess any of the Love Lives do this, but the way they do it is once again different than what I thought it was going to be. You know, at on the nine characters, I thought it was going to be like typical on the first two series, you know, nine characters and stuff, but it does it differently. It does the first five of the main cast. They hold them in a high regard. They're on a giant pedestal, while the new coming characters aren't in a league of their own. They're small fries, small potatoes compared to the original cast of Leela. Because of that, we get to see this different dynamic between the two groups, between the freshmen and the second years. You see the freshmen struggle, they're trying to keep up. They have talent, but they're very insecure about their talent. They don't think they were born into being true professional idols compared to what the original cast can become. Because even when the original cast became, they were good at what they did. Even when it was just Kanan and Cuckoo, they were extremely well done. And then Sarmani joined, and then of course Shizuto joined. And things got extremely better for them to the point that, you know, or the story, they took second place. They were very good, special in a way. They just needed to form together. But then they wanted to really raise up the stakes. So in order to do that, they start recruiting new members. These new members were going to come, and I thought it was going to be like, you know, like Sunshine or the original Love Live. Um, the thing, the difference between them is in the first Love Live, they were all already good. They just need to form members and think what's going on was just their own personal issues and problems. And then in Sunshine, it was more of them finding their identity, you know. That zero to one, how can you do it against all odds of being inside of a backwater country? I mean, um, sit town, I guess. I mean, well, they were in the country, technically, but backwater town, in a way, where no one knew them. It was hard to get popular. Heck, they couldn't even save their school, in a way. They had to go to another school. But they did win love life. It was them finding their identity and being more confident in themselves. Nijisaki is more about individual idols, being as a unit. And this one, it's, this one I thought was going to be just freshmen, but no, they're second years, time does pass. They add on freshmen, this is me showing them being senpais, the difference between senpais and konais. Because konais can't always be good, but they don't see themselves good enough compared to their senpais. As you can clearly see here, the difference, the practice is extreme, very extreme. The things they have to do every day, they're all specially talented. And they're just gifted, completely gifted. They were born due to naturalist breathing. Then you have the newbies, the newbies who want to get onto it. They don't see themselves as extremely talented as the others. They have to struggle. They have to rearrange the schedule just for them because I guess they're not on that level. I guess it's showing how you have to adjust for the others in order to be a good unit. So I do appreciate that very much in this series of Love Live Superstar. So they were able to truly shine and be different compared to the other series as well, which I was worried about, but here I am having worries for nothing. <laughs> Ugh, you never fail me, Love Live. You never do. Now, with that being said, let's talk about the new character, Natsumi. We've been sitting here in the background every now and then, doing videos, doing odd jobs, but what is her motive besides just making money? I was thinking in my head, wouldn't be funny and awesome if her motive was just to make money, just to be rich, and that was it. You know, it's not that she needed the money, she just wanted the money. <laughs> That'd be awesome. But knowing the way love life has to be, there has to be more of a complex story behind it. We don't know that so far. So instead of joining the club, what I thought she was going to do, she becomes his producer. And so she tried to join in, and Kanan already signed the contracts. No matter how much she tries to view Kanan as a centerpiece, as everyone thinks Kanan should be a centerpiece, she always runs away. She pushes it. like She's almost as shy as Ruby, camera shy as Ruby. But remember, she was she did just got over stage fright in the first place, to the point where stage fright was so bad for her, she would just fall out. She wouldn't run away. She would just fall out <laughs> and now she's made that next step of being on a camera but even then she just runs off like 
extremely fast. And usually she has Sermay around her, bro. She just pushed it all on the Sermay and stuff. But this time there was no Sermay around, so she just ran. She just, just, she just blitzed, man. <laughs> that was freaking hilarious. So, now she wants to use this club to get views, to get money. Look at that revenue. You know, and not only that, it's good because it's wholesome content. It's child-friendly content. Plus, it's about idols. And singers and stuff always get tons of views, especially if they're really good and well-known already. So this is already cha-ching cash. Not to mention she can make merchandise and all the other stuff and promo. It's pretty much a producer is the highest level when it comes to promo work. You know, you have your regular um, BA. You know, you go to stores and you promote products. Then you have the brand ambassador which is the promo person, which to go around and they are at car shows, they're at um, golf tournaments, basketball games, and they promote the products there. And finally, you have producer in a way where you're your own man. You're your own person. You line everything up, everything goes your way. You're finally to the top. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get there one day, but who knows? <laughs> but with that being said, um, things are going well. Um, the card game was funny. The card game seemed like they said they could only play a card game outside because there was not enough room in there. I looked in that room. There was enough room. Dude. Growing up, there was a lot of cousins in the family. So we all had to be inside the kids' room because we're all around the same age, around this time. Because there were a lot of uncles and aunts around the same age this time. So there became a lot of cousins. We were all forced to stay in the same room, the kids' room, during these um, barbecue parties and all that stuff. We all had to be in the same room. They could have fit in there, man. Eight people could have fit in there. If you can have 15 kids in one room where I was at, which was way smaller, you can have freaking eight girls in that room, man. That is a BS. Room small, small my ass. You can fit eight people in there. If I had to put up with all my cousins, I'm pretty sure they can put up all their friends. <laughs> That's a BS. I'm sorry. I'm calling that out, man. You can make room. <laughs> well, anyways, um, they got sidetracked by video games. It seems like um, Ren might be addicted to video games now. <laughs> so the scheme got cut on thanks to Sermay. Sermay is the less global one out of the group, but she knows about show business and producers and stuff. So she caught on to her scheme, but Conan isn't that upset about it. Shocked, but not upset. She's more like, okay, let's give her time and see what, um, why she's doing this. On the other hand, Natsume, thanks to this act of mercy, Natsume has her other plan. Talking to the freshman, saying how feel courting them will make them, people can tell the difference between the, the original cast to the new members. And they'll be the laughing stock, and no one would take Leela seriously, looking how bad the freshmen have to struggle compared to the original cast. They didn't want that, you know. So, not to me, for a harebrained scheme, says, let's split them up, divide and conquer. I'll take the freshmen, and I'll have them do their own training regiment over the summer, while the original cast do where they want. So, there it goes that, and she goes up the roof, and just praising the lord of money. <laughs> Her little plan could go miles. And since the main cast besides, well, this freshman besides Shiki are gullible, she has her scheme. <laughs> so we all thought she was going to join the club just yet. Nope. She still has her little evil deed. <laughs> oh, I like this character. <laughs> Very funny. So anyways, that's all I got for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, of course, hit that bell icon. This has the background on Manime. Signing out.